Here is a complete guide for social media video formats and how to change the aspect ratio of a video in seconds. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. As a beginner video creator, it can get confusing finding your way around video sizes and aspect ratios, especially that there are so many social media platforms with different requirements. That's why we collected the most important video size and aspect ratios for you in one video so you have every important piece of information in one place. I'm gonna go by social media platform and I'll also share our recommendations regarding aspect ratios. Let's kick things off with YouTube, by far the most popular video sharing and social media platform. Now YouTube is still mostly about horizontal content, even though since the launch of YouTube Shorts in 2020 and later the possibility of Shorts monetization in early 2023 last year, vertical content has been gaining mass popularity. So on YouTube, both kind of aspect ratios are favored. When it comes to horizontal, or in other words, the landscape aspect ratios, the most common one is 16 to 9. But YouTube can handle all sorts of aspect ratios and will adjust the player window accordingly as well. For vertical videos, it's 9 to 16. Regarding video sizes, the standard for horizontal videos is becoming more and more 4K. But it goes from SD quality to 8K on YouTube. YouTube Shorts in the vertical format, however, will upload videos in 1080 by 1920, full HD. That is if you film your video right within the app. But, and listen carefully because it's a good trick. If you export it from your computer, you can export it also in 4K, for example, and then upload that on YouTube. If you're just starting out, we recommend you upload content in 4K in a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, but Full HD is still up to date in case your camera can't record in 4K yet. TikTok is pretty much the king of the vertical format. YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels that we'll talk about later in this video stole, stole the idea from them. So the aspect ratio for TikTok is 9 to 16 and the highest resolution on the platform is 1080 by 1920. Now, this doesn't mean that your original file cannot have higher quality. In fact, the best practice is to upload your video in the highest resolution and quality possible since TikTok will compress it into full HD and into a smaller file size so to ensure that your video will have amazing quality even after compression, that's the way to go. As a side note, I must mention that YouTube also compresses your video when you upload it, so make sure that those videos have the best quality possible before uploading. Uploading in different aspect ratios on TikTok is possible, of course, but it's best to stick with the platform's standards. Now, Instagram has multiple aspect ratios for videos, so let's go over them. We need to divide the videos on the platform to in-feed and Instagram Reels. Instagram Reels works pretty much the same way as TikTok. The best choice is a vertical 9 to 16 aspect ratio with the best possible video quality, which in the end will be uploaded in 1080 by 1920. Videos uploaded in the Instagram feed, however, are a tiny bit more complicated, but nothing to be scared of. You have three options. You can upload a horizontal video and the aspect ratio is 1 to 9 to 1, but if that sounds scary, you can just upload the video in 16 to 9. There isn't much of a difference anyway. The resolution for this aspect ratio is 1920 by 1080. Moving on, you can upload a portrait video in a 1 to 1 aspect ratio, which is a square, basically, resulting in the resolution of 1080 times 1080. And then, as to vertical formats, you can choose between 4 to 5 or 9 to 16, 1080 times 1350 or 1080 times 1920. Now, I think for vertical videos, it's always best to go with 9 to 16, except if you're uploading a video in a carousel post where it's going to be either a portrait, 4 to 5, or a landscape aspect ratio. As an additional tip for you, for TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels videos, I'd recommend you place the main subject of your video somewhere in the middle and avoid showing important information or captions in the top and the bottom of the video as well as the sides because all three platforms has overlays on the video within the app. On Facebook, similarly to YouTube, you have two options, horizontal or vertical, aka 16 to 9 and 9 to 16. On Twitter, aka X, you also have three options, landscape, portrait and square, but be aware that portrait on Twitter means 9 to 16 
and lens cape and square are the usual 16 to 9 and 1 to 1. Note that the video resolutions on Twitter are smaller, however. The videos can only be uploaded in 1280 times 720 or 720 by 1280 and 720 by 720. So not in full HD. Okay. Now let's see how to change the aspect ratio of a video in a super simple way. If you messed up your video export or want to quickly repurpose a video for different social media platforms, this method will solve all of your problems. As a first step, download the uniconverter from videoconverter.wondershare.com in case you don't have it yet. Open it up and click on the converter tool right on the main interface of the software. Import your video or videos you need to change the aspect ratio of. Hover your mouse over the video thumbnail here and click in the crop icon. In the next window here, you can either manually type your desired resolution or choose a preset aspect ratio. Conveniently, these are the ones that you might need on any social media platforms or if you want to, you can also set a custom one by selecting the crop area. If you have multiple videos that you're giving the same new aspect ratio to, click on apply to all. And finally, after choosing an output format and an output folder, click on start all. And that's it. Super, super simple. Guys, I hope this video was helpful and informative. And if it was, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content on video making related issues. I'm going to thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.